Absolutely, Sheba, you're right. President Trump made that absolutely clear. They are not lifting these sanctions, he says. The ultimate goal, as the U.S. has made clear all along, is the complete and verifiable denuclearization of the peninsula. Now, in that letter, Kim committed to that. He reinforced his firm and unwavering commitment to denuclearization on the Korean peninsula. I'm reading from that letter. President Trump, in return, uh, agreed to end military drills in South Korea, but he says he will not remove the troops. However, he called those drills provocative. President Trump said that he is committed to starting that process right away. We also agreed to vigorous negotiations to implement the agreement as soon as possible. And he wants to do that. This isn't the past. This isn't another administration that never got it started and therefore never got it done. And Sheba, President Trump is now wrapping up his time here in Singapore. He says he's looking forward to taking it easy. He will head back to Washington tonight. And we are live here at the 11 Alive Bridge where we've been monitoring reactions, including the president's Twitter feed. Now, he's been pretty quiet since we had that press conference earlier this morning. He did post that video montage about two hours ago, but we do know from his assistant that photo tweeting out that he is headed to Air Force One as we speak, leaving the historic summit in Singapore. Vice President Mike Pence also tweeting out with the success of the Singapore summit. He says the world is one step closer to peace on the Korean Peninsula. We're going to continue to follow this morning, but a lot of people also retweeting this from the president saying he'll be bringing back the remains of 6,000 Americans killed in North Korea. The remains will be coming back, he says.